Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974 back at you after a long hiatus with Kerbal Space Program. Sorry I've been away a lot of time. You guys waiting for my another video for Kerbal Space Program, but you know, stuff comes up, real life stuff comes up, and situations. And well, I kind of got a little burned out on Kerbal, but we're back. And I'm gonna try to keep the really, you know, a couple videos, maybe a video every week. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. But so I had to kind of look back at what I was doing the last time I talked to you guys, and I know I was planning a uh, incursion to Drez. But the problem is, Drez has to be in a certain position for us to launch to. So let me, if we're gonna do the the whole naked eye. We're just going to guesstimate. We're not going to do uh, optimal burns because I don't have a mod installed to do that. Kerbin should be relatively right here. And Drez should be up here. Now the problem with this is that Drez is down here. We're about the farthest away we can get. And we're on what? Year, year 3, day 365. I can guarantee you right now that we're probably looking at a two year window here. So we're probably going to be in the year 5 area until it gets up into this area before we can actually launch to it, you know, to keep it as optimal as possible. So right now I'm going to put the Drez thing on. Uh, on the back burner we'll keep an eye on this once we get to year five we'll see where Drez is and we'll and we'll do uh, a few other things here but today you know and maybe we'll have some better technology where we can get our guys up there but right now we got 341 I don't think I can buy anything for us I think that's what I left us at actuators yeah so you know on on the Kerbal front side we do have a a new update coming out hopefully pretty soon 1.1 and I've been trying to hold off playing this playthrough for right now just because one of the exciting features for me in 1.1 is going to be that you're going to have to set up a remote tech type system to communicate with uh, other vessels and I really cannot wait for that feature so I don't want to get too much stuff into space and then have 1.1 hit and then I can't use it anymore so I'm thinking right now, as we wait for 1.1 to come out, uh, something that we need to do, and it's something we ran into a problem with last time, is we still have Kerbin 1 in here. Kerbin 1 has nobody on it. We want to go take a look at Kerbin 1. Remember, it doesn't have a name. I asked you guys to name it. Nobody really stepped up, so it's still called Kerbin 1. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, I, I reinstalled a new flight engineer, so I'm going to have to not show that. I might have to mess with my stuff here a little bit off screen. All right, so get rid of that. All right, so this is our little space station that is above Kerbin, and it has a few good docking ports. We can get a, we get a few guys up here if we want. That could be a mission for us. Uh, eventually we can even set up a mission controller mission to uh, put a crew on this uh, another thing that we need to work on and let me see can we actually go back to the space center and check out this is that our minimus science station which probably has some science in it we must have grabbed that while we're at it has no bigger docking port so I'm thinking about making an adapter to send up here for we can uh, we can dock some of the newer bigger vessels that we now have up here what do we have for science I have 287 science up here so let's transmit that science uh, transmit starting transmission not enough electric charge already really what do we got for electric charge here? Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to shut this down. So stop research. Let the charge go. We might want to add a new uh, thing to this. So let's get... We should have stopped. Shut the lights off. I don't know what the heck this thing is using for energy, but oh, there we go. Alright, 
so we will transmit the science to Kerbin to give us some more science to work with. And we'll come up with an adapter for this to send up here. I want to adapt from the small one to the bigger one. And the way I made this wasn't very uh, awesome. <laughs> uh, we're going to need... Why can we adapt? We can just so we'll, yeah, we'll we'll work on it when we get we get this all updated here. Let's. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I'm thinking. Well, now I'm not in the sun, but I'm thinking that this thing is not going to transfer anything right now. So we actually got two problems with this thing. We definitely need to uh, send in a new docking adapter, and we need to actually send in a new solar panel system for this thing. So let's go find what we can use for this to get this up here. We can go into this. What do we have for rockets? Pretty sure my satellite, nebula moon rocket. I think my moon rocket might work if we adapt it to carry something other than this. So this is cool and all but what we need is a new adapter system so I will need all right so let's grab this it's not huge but what we're gonna do is first if we need to adapt up um, we'll want to have a small adapter here and the regular adapter we want to flip it like that and then we'll want another small adapter to actually hook to the system and what we'll do there is we'll need a Maybe that's too small. That's too crappy. Uh, structure. Do we have anything relatively interesting there? Okay, so there we go. So that will hook into it. I wonder if that's not going to be very stable. Grab this. We'll just kind of make an adjustment like that that should help stabilize it so basically what I've done is this will disconnect from the main body here what this main body will be is we'll give it another fuel tank since we are going up we'll go like that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bunch of solar panels on here and a bunch of batteries now what do I have for batteries I might ask. I don't know. Let's take. So these are the Z400s. These have 400 each. I'm thinking if we do. No, that won't work very well, will it? If we do a nice. Sort of like that. Once that blows. Alright, so we'll send that like that. There we go. All set up. All right, so off to Minmus. This is to go. Hopefully, we'll we'll fly all right. We'll get this up in space, and we'll get another episode out of the way for you guys. It is daytime. Do we got good SAS on here? Yes, we do. So let's wait for Minmus. Minmus. Uh, let's set that as target, just because we can. Not quite there yet, but we actually are getting there. Remember the trick to mid miss. You want it on the horizon, barely. Oh, the sun's going to be in the way this time. And dang, there we go. So let's go back to staging. We look all set there. Tucked up. Oh, that's not right. We want to let that all go at the same time. And there we go. Mimus is that way towards the sun. And we will start our engage. I, I don't have any. 
Oh, I don't. All right, I don't have engineer on here. That's all right. I can do it without engineer. So, off we go. I don't remember when to start the gravity turn on this one. Hmm. Well, this is kind of a new vessel, so let me turn that down in my ear a little bit. Does it really matter on this one, technically, because we're going high, so I'm just going to start it right now. Get us going. I'll make this episode a little bit long for you guys, for you, for you guys that enjoy watching this stuff. We can watch it. Bring that up. Yeah, so basically I'm just kind of heading straight up. I'm not so worried. When you go into like the mid mist or the, a moon launch like this, um, you don't have to worry so much about... Let me blow those off there. <laughs> to get rid of those. Uh, so much about your ascent. I mean, you still have to worry about it, don't get me wrong, but um, you don't have to be as uh, precise because the way I'm doing it is that we're just doing a direct run to Minmus. And remember, once we get to 26,000, uh, the old wobbly, wobbly thing shouldn't be an issue anymore. And I really haven't noticed too much wobbly on this yet, even though we're almost at 500 meters a second. Uh, there's Minmus, the target for Minmus is set right there. going we're at 22 actually this really isn't a bad bad uh, ascent to Minmus. Uh, there's Minmus right there really and now we're at 28 we're not I'm not too concerned about anything if we look at our ball here we can see that we're already at 57 58. Our gravity ball just turned in, so our orbital ball just turned in, I mean. So let's get this straightened out just a bit. I'm going to lose these next stages now. There they go. I'm also going to uh, blow this off before we get some rid of some of that weight. One of the big things is, is I'm probably going to have to open these because I didn't put any secondary solar panels on here, but we definitely want to wait uh, on that until we actually get to a uh, a good orbit. We don't want to be opening our solar panels uh, too low, or you know, you'll blow, they'll blow off. I'm pretty sure even near future solar panels will blow off. But I don't even know what these look like, so we'll find out when we open them up. So the plan is that we're going to get to the Minma station, we're going to get into posi position, uh, we're going to uh, land the actual docking adapter first, we're going to disconnect from the dock the docking adapter, and then we will put the new uh, power source where we need to put it. So how is this doing? Is this doing good? So we're at 200,000 meters, 200 kilometers. We'll just keep driving up here. I got plenty of fuel, so this thing definitely has plenty of fuel to get to at least Minmus. I still get used to uh, the new fuel values at 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely messed up. I mean, a lot of the uh, Delta V, especially since they keep changing things a lot. And who knows what 1.1 1 .1 will bring? Of course, we will be off a little bit when we do a Minmus run like this. You this Minmus, you have to adjust. Uh, going to the moon, you don't have to adjust, so that's just something to keep in mind. You definitely don't want to go over the lines here, and we get in there pretty quick. So I'm going to slow us down a little bit. Slow us down, and bang. All right, so if you look at where we are, we're high, so what we want to do is we wanted to make an adjustment. We want to do it really quick because we're almost there. Oh, oh, I just hit it, but I don't. I wonder if I can do better than that. No, I can't. All right, so we're gonna hit Mim Miss, just like that. I don't think I can do too much adjustment here. No, nope. no. Nope. So we're a little bit high. 
I could probably adjust that a little bit, but I really don't want to. Not right now. Uh, what do we got left for fuel? Mm, plenty. This thing is uh, turning like a rock, though. Let me extend one of the panels so we definitely don't run out of power. So yeah, these are big, big panels, which is fine. I think I ran over. No, we're 16. We're eight. Yeah, we did. We did T plus 16. That's fine. It's not uh, the biggest deal. We just got to kind of keep this going a little bit. There we go. I'm going to make the adjustment. I am not even going to watch it. I'm just going to go by what this says. And let's take a looky. Shut this off. Are we there? Not quite. All right. So let's see what we need to adjust now. Do we need to go lower? Ah, there we go. Nope. Nope. Some of these adjustments are a pain in the butt. But I'm not going to worry about it. So that actually brings us in a lot closer. That's where we want to be. So the biggest problem I have right now is that I can't really turn this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lose this, and I should have a lot more control now. I can also turn my RCS on, but we really don't want to lose too much here. Keep making some adjustments here. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. There it is. There we go. Now, we can go like this. Very small adjustments. It's been a while since I played Kerbal Space Program, so I'm a little rusty. And I'm going to turn some engines on here. That's weird. Curious why that's not burning away. Oh, you know why it's not burning away? Because the engine isn't actually on yet. Activate engine. There we go. Now it should work. And we have a lock on. I do want it a little bit closer. There we go. And we'll come around. Still have plenty of power. Yep, electric charge three, two, ten. We'll get onto this. Oh, slow it down. There we go. Target. So now I don't remember which way the station is rotating, so that's why I'm kind of being a little bit safe here. It is rotating that way. I'm not going the right way, so we need to bring this down. Add. And what we'll do is we'll flip it. Boom! If you're wondering how to flip it, that's technically how you flip it. See how I did it? Now I'm rotating the same way as the station. Station's at 52. I'm going to bring it a little bit higher than 52 just because we don't want to uh, things change once you get into orbit we also are a little bit off this way so can I lift this yep there we go so I got that nice and rounded off so we should be on a pretty even plane with it it's gonna cost me 162 ms but I'm pretty sure we have plenty I haven't really checked <laughs> I thought it said we had 2,980-something um, Delta V or MS to uh, play with on this, so 
I'm not too concerned about this vessel not having enough energy to do anything. There we go. So we have at 60. I'm at 70. That's good. All right. So then we'll get into orbit. Close her off. There we are. And that will give us a pretty decent uh, situation. Can I go? I don't know. I don't really want to play with that. Again, it's been a while since I played, so bear with me. It would be really nice if that flipped around one more time by the time we got to... Oh, wow! Okay, so that makes me happy. He's not that far away. So what I'm going to do on this is I'm not going to actually bring it in all the way. And I'll show you what I mean. So instead of closing the circle totally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it a little bit away. I'm already too far away, so let's close this up now. Oh, now there, horsey. Get in there. There you go. I still have to make a slight adjustment here. That adjustment is going to be this. You see how our sideways profile is a little bit oblong there? Shouldn't be that way. So where do we intercept? Let me uh, set us target. So right here we have a intersection so I can level us out number one that's the first thing we want to do just like that we're on the same plane as him and I also want to not do that we might want to close this up just a tad have him catch up with us because he's going faster and slide you over just like that okay so let me put this back on here. Sorry, hey, this is space this is space exploration. You gotta make some adjustments. I probably could be much more efficient with this, but I just don't care. The fuel is pretty much gonna be wasted at this point anyway. So hell with it. It could be used in a future mission at some point, I am sure of that. There's our space station. Here we come. Actually kind of a little bit a little bit went off. I don't know if I just clicked wrong or or what. But there we go, we got five seconds. I don't even know what kind of burn this is. It's not even a very long burn, I don't think. Four, three, two, one, bang. I'm gonna call that good. So there we go. We are now just gonna wait for him. If I'm not even sure what that is. What is that? I don't know. It does some weird things sometimes. So he's there, I'm there. If I cut this down just a tad, what I want to do is I want to see where he is. So there he is. So target position, target there. What I'm doing is I just want to I just want to do a guesstimation. Guesstimation. That even a word. I don't even know if that's a word or not. Uh, where we'll be. So we'll be here. We'll be here. So we're just waiting for us to intercept him. Is basic the basic premise of that. So there we go. If we go here, we'll be pretty close. I like that. I do do like that. Let me see if I can if I get to the AP up here. Let's see if I can adjust that just a tad. What I'm going to do is, so he's going faster. I'm going to slow him down then. Let's go to here. Don't be a butthead. There we go. So eight, six, four, three, two, one. All right. So that's the closest we're gonna get. Pretty much on top of them. Almost there. Almost seems like we are almost like right there now. So bring it around. He's almost there. Go to the retrograde. How come I haven't got a target on him yet? 1.7 milliseconds. All right, we can slow that down even more. So there we go. We are basically on top. Let's go to our view. We probably can see him right there. The science station. There's Mimis, glorious Mimis in the background. Come back around. 
We'll come back around. I need to point at you. Oh, so you're this way. Okay, so there's uh, there's his tail end. And there's that end. This thing still turns like a dog. A dog in labor. A dog chasing a something that makes it slow. I like that. I like that. Dog chasing something slow. Hey, put that little round ball in there. Thank you. We definitely don't need that fast. We don't want to go too fast. So hopefully these babies work okay. Oh. Oh, that was a that was a silly thing to do. I went by the retrograde like I was uh, like there was no tomorrow. Again, it turns up. Why is this thing so I did put the thing on there, didn't I? Oh no, I don't. I ugh, I was thinking of something else I was making before I started a video recording. I don't have any RCS on this other than what's in the actual probe core. So, we're at six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't want to get too close. Well, we do want to get close, I meant, but I mean, I don't want to break anything. That wouldn't be very fun. There we go. 84. Oh, we can see it. I love it. There we are. And bam! I'm going to close this off a little bit. Oh, and now I'm going too fast. You're not fun. You're not fun when you're going too fast. There we go. Get my target, baby. Hey, where you going? Don't you move away. Don't you don't you run away from me. There you go. Should actually use the prograde to uh, slow us down a little bit. I would actually like to have the docking port on the other side. So that's good. That I, I seem to be heading in the right direction. That was not planned. That was not planned. Okay, what's planned? I, pl I completely planned that. All right, so there we go. Are we there? Oh, there it is. That's the docking port we want. I would love to get zero, but I don't think I'm going to. So let's target that. Set the docking port. Ah, oh, boy. It's been so long since I've done this. All right. Usually what I do is I just kind of line it up. That's a bad lineup. All right, so RCS on, SAS is on. Oh my God, that's right, it all changed, didn't it? Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see here. RCS is on, right? That's left, that's right. I don't remember which way is which anymore. Uh, left, right, uh, and okay, so it's, yeah, I, K, J, and then H and N is up and forward. All right, though. Why you all? I gotta get this to go the way I want it to go. There you go. And kind of even us out. There we go. There. So give me an H and N again. Let's first let's get that off. I is up. That's up. Good. Now I got things the way I want it. We'll just kind of pop it up there. There we go. We won't go that way. We won't go that way. We will stop us though. Don't go too high. Don't go too high. There we go. Wow, this thing definitely, this definitely the thing is a little bit, uh, a little bit screwy, screwy wooey. Just gonna slow it down a little bit. Bring this down. Are we even even here? No, we're not. We're pretty much off. We're off kilter. And oh yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I like. H. H. Yep. 
Yep. I am completely off here. Sorry, guys. Bear with me as we uh, relearn how to fly this thing. Man, man, I should just watch my own, uh, my own, uh, things, but actually, I've got this. I've got it. She's sliding in there. And up, 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 up. Thank you. Can't seem to get that lock locked up here. I'm trying to get this locked up here. And I think I'm still off kilter a little bit. Let me see if I can sort of go like that. There we go. I don't know how well that worked or not, but it doesn't look like it worked very well. <laughs> oh boy. I must be way off. Yeah, I'm way off. And space out. H H. Ah, oh, now I'm kind of there. Stretch me out. Stretch me up. Oh, oh, I like it. Yes. All right. So the docking adapter is now connected. Whew. So there's the docking adapter. So now we should just be able to unhook this. Decouple node. Bam. I gotta go back to this. And I should just be able to do some some H and N's here. Oh, is my RCS off? Put that on. Put that on. Just kind of move away. And lastly, but not least, we're gonna do a flip. But we're not gonna get that close. Oh crap! We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. No! All right. Now I'm gonna do a flip. There we go. And. Ah, crap. Yeah, we're right there. Just gotta do some more ancient, ancient, ancient. There we go. I am almost right on it, but not really quite on it. Just straightening things out here. There we go. Oh, so everything's reversed now. That's fun. It's always fun when you reverse everything. Thank you, reverse man. And well, that's nice. That's nice and locked up. Not so nice and locked up. Ooh, ooh. Aha! We're right on. We're right on. I'm a little. I'm a little angled off here, but. Sounds like I'm angered off. No, just angled off. Ow! Oh, we didn't need that. Don't worry. Man, I am really rusty on this. You there? No. I don't. What I don't like is I don't like the rotation. How the rotation is now. The rotation is what's irritating me. Because the way it used to be, which I don't think they should have changed it, but whatever. Come on. We're there. I'm sort of there, but not really. Bam! Bam! All right. So now, we got, now that we did that horrible, horrible exercise, uh, open all the panels up here. This should help us with the sun exposure it might seem a little bit odd kind of looks like uh skylab now yeah cool where's the sun where are you sun i can't see you so if the station kind of just flipped over just a tad and we did some teeing not peeing teeing that should in all theory help us out so we got the new adapter on there if we can get those guys there and we got this up here to do its thing and we have the new uh, solar panels let's take a look at what we have 
we are actually producing power now. So, if you notice, I'm producing power now, not losing power. And we have a hell of a lot more power than we did before. So, yet again, let's see if we can do some transferring. Transferring still might cause some issues, but there we go. Uh, is it keeping up? No, nope, but I think we should have plenty to send. I'm just going to go like this. We got 12.4, 14. 15. All right, I'll get too. Cl I'll get close, and we'll see how it goes this time. Come back as the sun starts setting. It's taking this long to send. Communicon done. So we actually transferred 322 science, and as we can see, the science has reset, and we're still working on the science. There we go. We still have the power. So we have on this episode gotten to where we need the MIMA station to be. It's still going to make us science. Let's go check out our science here. We still got Trista in there and that other dude doing their sciencey stuff. We should probably make another. Probably could actually go to Duna again. We should probably do an orbit of Duna. Hmm. So we're at 664. I don't believe that can buy us anything. Let's take a look. What I need is the heavy stuff. What I need is, oh, we're in here. You were a very good vessel. You, you did us well. How much money do I have left, by the way? I should probably do some upgrades, too. 1.6. Uh, what should we upgrade? Oh, no, wait. Before we go, do some upgrades. You are 563 patch conics. Uh, you are 854. Don't need you. You... Whew, always expensive, that one. Uh, so, yeah, we can't even do anything else. I can get some more stuff. We could probably get two of these. The question is, what do we want and what do we need? What is that? The whiplash. Start getting into some uh, planes. Those would be nice to get into. I do love planes. Uh, SSTOs. Uh, oh, I could definitely use that bigger uh, Probodane. I'm going to grab that right now. And, oh, looking nice rechargeable battery banks. These have another spot to be uh, batteries and capacitors. Uh, this is another good option because we're going to be sending a lot of science stuff out there, too. So I'm going to grab that. So we just used up all the science we had. I got 1.6 million. And I'm thinking <sighs> max part support, basic action groups available. The action groups are important but the basic ones suck because you can't do your own and over here we can get patch conics visible on the map that that is something so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade that I'm gonna get that upgraded to the highest tier so we still have these to work on and that's about it so that's it for this episode guys uh, we did some stuff and we'll start working on getting to other planets again probably gonna not risk the man stuff probably start sending some robotic stuff i know i'm a little bit worried about 1.1 coming out with that but we're gonna have to take some risk and get it done before that actually happens so as always guys thanks for watching this is Malkuth 1974 you guys have a great day Malkuth out of here